Hello from Vision on TV at Climate Camp 2010. We've got two absolutely crucial guests here, Rhiannon and Jasmine, who come from First Nations communities in the state of Alberta, Canada. Um, Jasmine, could you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Jasmine Thomas. I'm a member of the Frog Clan from the Carrier Nation and I live in my mother's territory which is located in Saikas and it's one of the communities located along the proposed Enbridge pipeline route in BC, so from the heart of BC and my father is from Ground Zero at the Tar Sands. Okay, and Rhiannon? Hi, um, I'm I'm Rhiannon, I'm from the Taltan Nation and the Wet'suwet'en Nation and the Enbridge Pipeline is also proposed to, to be on the Wet'suwet'en territory. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. That, that's fine. Okay. Um, so so uh, you're, you're in a, an area which is planned to have a pipeline which hasn't begun yet, mm -hmm. is that right? So, so what, can, uh, what can we do here to stop that? I mean, who's playing the major role in the financing of these things? RBS is uh, the lead financer uh, financing these projects, um, the Tar Sands and Enbridge, which will entail uh, um, when, when an oil tanker on our west coast per day, and uh, we're really concerned with this oil um, tanker activity on our coast, as well as the, the Enbridge pipeline, which is 1,200 kilometers long. and proposed to cross over a thousand rivers and streams. Wow. Um, so um, this one can still be stopped, right? Mm -hmm. Now here, uh, as, as uh, viewers of our shows already will know, we're right outside the headquarters of the Royal Bank of Scotland, the major financier of these projects, uh, here at Climate Camp 2010 in Edinburgh, Scotland. And um, so why have you come here? Well, our communities are actually preparing for the joint review panels that will be reviewing this proposed pipeline project. And we came here to the front door of RBS to tell them that, you know, we are in total opposition of this project because it is threatening our lives and many people in our communities are already dying from tar sands activities in Alberta and different cumulative impacts that are occurring in our communities in BC and elsewhere as well. Now you have a particular painful story of your own regarding that, don't you? Well, my father um, comes from Ground Zero, Fort Chippewan, and where he used to hunt and fish and gather is now home to open pit mines that can be seen from space and as this project has been dubbed the largest destructive energy project known on the face of the planet it, it is a personal issue because my father has been diagnosed with a lung cancer and he is right now currently with my grandfather who recently just had a massive stroke because the cancer spread into his brain so dealing with all those in the last those issues arising in the last two weeks has been very powerful and made me want to come right to RBS and share these stories of how their role as the lead financer of you know tar sands activity and with Enbridge is killing my people and my family and destroying our land. So we came here to bring that message. We came here all the way from Canada to do that. How many cancers are we talking about in your communities? Oh, you got, you got people with liver cancers, ovarian cancers, breast cancers, bre brain cancers, leukemia. Um, we have, you name it. Okay, around you got any figures for us? Um, Fort Chippewan, uh, the, a community of 1,200, um, over 100 people have died from rare cancers rare diseases that um, in the general public these stats would are unheard of and um, it's been known that uh, these polluting sources like the tar sands they emit a lot of pollutants like um, mercury and uh, cyanide and and all of these have been uh, linked to as carcinogen, carcinogenic pollutants and um, there needs to be further studies um, done for the ensuring the health of these communities. And um, there's in the past there's been a lockdown on 
on the amount of uh, studies that were allowed to to happen on regarding these developments. So I, I think just now with uh, people protesting and, and elevated concerns that um, they would allow these studies to occur. It's also a question of lifestyle, presumably, as well. I mean, you said your, your father was a, was a, fish, a fisherman and a hunter-gatherer. Mm -hmm. And we still are. Like, we refer to ourselves as Yinka Dane, and that means people of the earth, so there's no separation or distinction. We are one. So the health and fate of the land, the air, the water, is also believed you know, to be the fate of our people, and we are experiencing that. As we see more of our lands being destroyed, we are also witnessing more of our people dying. So, There's a, there's a particularly appalling um, irony of this for, for a British person like myself, in that we actually own this bank. Mm -hmm. You know, we own 80% of this bank, don't we? Mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, every citizen in the UK has put £750, in, including children, into this bank. Um, so a family of four has put £3,000 into this bank to keep it afloat mm -hmm. and, and it's doing this. Mm -hmm. um, so, so we feel very um, motivated to stop it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so what should we be doing now? Well, right now everyone can you know, stop dealing with you know, corporations who don't want to respect not only indigenous rights but basic human rights so financing the breakdown of those fundamental principles is something that i believe people should not want to be a part of i i think if people are aware of what um their their investments entail to across the seas with these developments then maybe with um becoming more aware of these issues um, they could add um, uh, um, direction as to, or have a say into what type of developments that, that their companies, that their their country's companies are investing in. Yeah, and, and what action are you, what are you hoping will happen this weekend at Climate Camp? Well, we hope to, to shut them down, you know, at least get that message out there and to let a lot, I'm sure there's a lot of people here in the UK as well who aren't aware of you know, what's happening in our communities in Canada, as there are many people in our own territories who aren't aware of these projects and just how globally massive it is and a concern for people all over the world. So to get more awareness out there of just how severe this is um, and to have people more aware of where their investments are going is important. So the day of action against the Royal Bank of Scotland is on Monday, two days from now, um, and we need as many people as possible to turn up to protest this appalling uh, environmental destruction and social injustice.